There is one hour to go before 2021, so Happy New Year everyone and Master Trevor. If you are interested in the inside life of Pattaya, check the Bathing Pattaya. It's not only that his channel is very informative and full of diversity, but also Mr. Trevor himself is very kind. I don't know him personally, but just from those videos he made, you can already tell. I'm glad he posted a question that he is considering by a GoPro or maybe other camera to replace his DJI Pocket 2. It's quite a coincidence because just a few weeks ago, I posted a video mentioning that I was amazed by the DJI Pocket 2's performance. The first time I saw Trevor's video is that I was thinking, okay, what a camera he's using because obviously the stabilization indicates it's an action camera, but uh, there is also the rotation, so I know it's a gimbal. So I was thinking maybe he's using Micro Four Third camera because from his video, the focus is changing. For action camera, definitely it cannot do that. So I was thinking maybe he's using Micro Four Third camera with a gimbal. But then in one video, I saw the reflection which suggests it's the uh, Pocket 2. Anyway, for me, I think the Pocket 2 actually suits Mr. Trevor's need uh, very precisely. The reason that Mr. Trevor wants to buy a GoPro is because when he's doing the zip thing, the Pocket 2 is not that convenient. In that case, I do think GoPro 9, 10, 11, or even Action 3, together with the mount, will move it. With the mount and the, the back clipper. Together you can do this, and then I mean, basically you can find any place to strap on your head or the bag, whatever you like. And I know Mr. Trevor sometimes ride a motorcycle and she has a run, so GoPro with a mount is definitely good for you. But there's one problem for GoPro, which is the sound recording. If you want to use GoPro to do the vlog, definitely you will need to use the media mode. So you will need to remove this clip easy. But uh, then you will need to put uh, media mode to block this battery error. So every time you need to replace the battery, you need to remove the media mode. And not only that, the media mode actually uses the mount is actually extended. So if you want to remove the mod, you also need to dismantle this part. So it's quite annoying. The other way is use the adapter to connect here and then extend it out and then connect the microphone or something like that. But in that case, you also need to open this door and then connect the cable. So it's kind of complicated. Of course, there's another way that is you record something and then you have external microphone to record it. And then in the editing, you can synchronize it, but that is the extra work. So instead of GoPro, maybe I would recommend you to use the Action 3 because Action 3 microphone is easy to connect, you just need an adapter outside will be okay. Another thing Mr. Chova mentioned is the focus breathing. If you are using the GoPro definitely there won't be focus breathing. And if you consider other camera, I do believe other camera also create the focus breathing, but uh, it's just uh, very minor. And a GoPro's advantage to DJI Pocket 2, I think, uh, yes, you have a wider view, but uh, which is a bended view, so maybe you won't uh, use that unless you are running the motorcycle. And maybe the stabilization is not as good as Pocket 2 with a gimbal. For the stabilization, I did compare the GoPro 9 with the Osmo 4 plus iPhone, and it turns out uh, the gimbal is actually a little bit better than the GoPro. What I'm trying to say is using GoPro to replace your Pocket 2 seems not that reasonable. Especially in your video, I saw a lot of spring the camera thing. You can only do that by Pocket 2. But you also mentioned about the focus breathing thing. You think GoPro won't call that. So maybe that's the reason you want to replace. Actually, what I would recommend you is that you can still use your DJI Pocket 2 for the outdoor. You just need to find some case to uh, hold it, which I know there is, because you can already use it in your motorcycle, so I guess that won't be a problem. I mean, GoPro does have more vivid color, that is for sure. Oh, by the way, I mentioned I would recommend Action 3, right? Because Action is easy to operate, it has better operating system. And the color is similar, stabilization is similar. The only downside which I saw is that uh, if the distance is kind of close, maybe the Action 3 won't have your in focus. I mean, although GoPro also don't have the focus hunting, but it's kind of have wider range of have everything in focus, which actually I think Pocket 2 is a little bit better because DJI Pocket 2 is kind of focused in you and then blur, kind of blur the background. So that is also the reason why I don't recommend you use GoPro to replace what you already have and it's kind of better than GoPro. About the focus breathing, I saw it usually happened in studio. In that case, well, maybe you can consider, okay, let's go with the GoPro or Action 3 for the studio and shoot yourself and go outside, you can also use it. That is reasonable. But I also have one thought, which is for the studio, you can have a camera 
to shoot you so you don't have to buy a GoPro you don't need to buy an extra camera for your studio in that case I would recommend you like a Canon R10 because it's cheap and the light or Sony ZV-1 or ZV-10 and maybe Canon M15 the price range will be around $500 the reason I didn't mention more expensive camera like have better stabilization is because come on, for any APS-C or full frame camera, there is no way you can hold it and then walk around and talk. So there is no way the camera can replace the tiny GoPro or your Pocket 2 or Action 3. Only if you want to have a huge gimbal with camera, which is definitely not the case. And there is one another possibility that you can go with the Micro Four Third, which is Olympus Panasonic. This camera, you can use the camera for your studio and the stabilization is also awesome but I don't think you can replace your action camera with the Micro Four Third because the camera is just uh, much larger so Mr. Java, I think if you need to buy one camera for all it will definitely be Action 3 because if you're using GoPro the sound recording will be a problem and for Pocket 2 you have something to hold it right so for Action Camera I would recommend you to buy a PGY's mini tripod it's quite diversity and the price is very reasonable otherwise I think you can stay with your Pocket 2 for the outdoor and for indoor you just get a camera and record yourself will be okay because I also know you do the photo shooting right so I guess using camera to shoot video is definitely not a problem for you and you don't need to consider the IBS stabilizing thing because you will not use your camera to replace the action cam, right? I know this video didn't give you a conclusion, but I hope by listing the pros and the cons, it can help you with your decision. Because from a video, I know the camera doesn't really matter too much. What matters the most is the content you create, the idea you have, and the personality you have. So that's it for me today, and see you guys. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.